Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to draw the sulfur hexafluoride molecule. So that's going to be the SF6, the uh, Lewis dot structure for this uh, chemical compound. So what we have, sulfur brings in six valence electrons plus six of the fluorines times seven valence electrons per fluorine so that's going to give you a total of 48 valence electrons and how we do this is you then subtract the largest multiple of eight out of this total which in this case is going to be 48 and it gives you zero and to get this 48 it's six times eight and there's zero remainders of two left. So that means that this is going to be a AX6E0, where the six right here comes is this, and the zero, zero groups of two as a remainder is this. So the, the final shape is going to be the AX6 shape. So that looks like this. You have the sulfur in the center with the six fluorines. each connected with a single bond at first and then you can put in the extra some some people like to do double dots for each electron I like to do the bars, each bar represents a pair it's your choice really so you put the twos on each one so each fluorine now has eight and if you sum them up there's eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two, forty, and forty-eight which is the total of valence we had at the top so this is the correct Lewis dot structure for this molecule and based on the shape the AX6 this is going to be an uh, octahedral molecule and with this shape the, uh, the bond angles are going to be um, 90 degrees and 180 degrees and just, just to check the formal charges, so we have the formal charge of the uh, sulfur in the center. And remember, formal charge is the valence electrons brought in, so that's six electrons minus, and then the number of bonds, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six bonds, minus the number of unpaired electrons, there's zero of those. So the formal charge on the sulfur is zero, and now let's check the formal charge on the fluorine, and, each, and the formal charge will be the same for each um, fluorine atom in the compound. So it's seven valence brought in, like we had up here. Then you have to subtract the number of pairs on each one. There's just one, or I'm sorry, bonding pairs. So one, just, just, just like say, say this fluorine here, there's only one bond there. So minus one bond, and then minus the six, one, two, three, four, five, six unpaired electrons. And that also gives you a zero formal charge, which is what you're looking for in. Um, chemical molecules, chemical compounds. And uh, let's see, so the hybridization of S, hybrid orbitals are going to have, there's six things attached, so you have to have S, P3, D2, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And this particular shape is going to be nonpolar because each of the surrounding atoms is all the same, there's six fluorines. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments or send me a message. Uh, like it if it helped you. If not, you know, ask me some more questions. And thank you.